So I want to show you a product that I sell to fix Hoshisaki Flaker. Uh, these are models 300B, 450Ms, 500Bs, 800Ms, 1000Ms, 2000Ms. They're basically a flaker uh, and what the symptoms are is that your flaker is no longer making ice and it's just, uh, you hear the motor spinning, but that's all that's happening. And so what typically happens is inside the gearbox, there is a fiber gear. And you can see this one here. You see this fiber gear has failed. What's happened is, is the teeth have got ripped off uh, over a part of the gear, a part of the gear circumference. And so what happens is, when there's a gear on this, it just spins and nothing happens. It, you, your, your flaker might tick, 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 and it never turns over. So that's the symptoms. You can split the gearbox. There's actually some Allen bo bolts all the way around it. They'll come apart and let you get inside it. And there's like three gears inside it, which are there's two of them are metal and one of them is fiber. This is the gear that's driven off the motor, and this is the one that fails. The problem is, is that you cannot buy this gear. You have to buy the whole gearbox and um, the motor. And by the time you've bought, I mean, you're going to spend something like fifteen hundred dollars, a crazy amount of money for this gearbox and motor just to replace what's a really, fairly should be a fairly inexpensive part, but you can't get it. So I had this problem happen to me 10 years ago and I then did put some drawings together and had a gear made and it was expensive as all get out, but it wasn't terribly expensive to get some more gears made. So I made some more gears. And so I've got some of these that I've slowly been going through over the last decade and people have been calling me up and getting this replacement gear. So I can send this out to you the day that you order and it's, uh, it's actually on eBay, if you want to buy it there. Starting bid on eBay is like 149 bucks. Well, I'll sell it for $149, plus another, I don't know, $10 to ship it, depending on where you are and how quickly you want it. But this will absolutely fix your problem. So it's a relatively simple process to take the gearbox out, take the motor off it, split the gearbox, and replace it, the bad gear, with the good gear. And if you're in doubt as to what's going on, before you order this gear, uh, go ahead and uh, <clears throat> open up your gearbox and see if that really is a problem. So just to kind of say you can see what's going on here so you can do a comparison with your gear. That gear is about not quite two and a half inches in diameter. And that gear is not quite three, almost exactly three quarters of an inches in width on the gear. And the whole gear itself measures about two and an eighth inches in, in width. And the little tiny gear measures oh, a little bit less than three quarters of an inch and the bearing on it is about three eighths of an inch. And I think it's exactly the same on this side here and it is three eighths of an inch. So there's, there's your measure. So if you want them in millimeters, that's nine millimeters. That is 60 millimeters. That is 20 millimeters. Uh, that gear is 18 millimeters. I think I gave you the whole width, but we'll do that one as well. The whole width is uh, 54 millimeters. So there's it, the inches and millimeters. So there you go. Simple part. Diff you can't find it. Uh, and I make it. And it's almost exactly identical to the one that's here. And I probably have, oh, I don't know, 50 people who've replaced their gears successfully. And none of those people have come back and said that it's failed. Now, one thing you do want to check is to why did this thing happen in the first place? And quite a good problem possibility is the flaker needs to be descaled. It's got a lot of calcium buildup in it, which is causing too much force on the gearbox that then this gives. So make sure your org is turning properly. And if it's not, go get some of this. Uh, I use the, uh, what is it called? Um, CLR, calcium something rust remover, lime rust remover. And you can get a, a mixture of that, pour it down your, let it soak in your uh, <clears throat> um, auger and that'll fix the problem. So there it is. If you need to go order this for me, 580. 799-2873, 580-799-2873, or drop me a link. Bye-bye, thanks for looking.